Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video. Today we'll be talking about what to do if you don't know what you want in life. If you don't know what truly inspires you or if you don't know what bring what would bring you the greatest possible joy cuz often when I'm talking about following our heart, following our deepest dreams, I see in the comments people writing like I would love to do that. I would love to to do something that I feel really joyful about, but I just don't know what it is. I don't know what is the thing that would provide me that great sense of purpose. So, I think it's a truly important topic to talk about, especially in the times like that as everything is shifting and everything is changing. And the only thing that is really really important is to find what what really inspires us so we can start walking our own path, the path of our dreams. Because if we are not walking the path of our dreams, we are walking the path of the dreams of somebody else. And that's why it's so important to 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 truly find ourselves. Not in a way as a certain spiritual awakening, but rather to find our voice, to find uh, what are our needs, what are our heart's desires, and what we are craving the most. Because often we are craving something which we are ignoring. Like if you are a person which is always alone, always closed in your space, maybe your soul is craving some company, some uh deep conversations with somebody and and we need to do something about it and often also for it's the opposite case where you're always with people always hanging with people always uh, running out of time to do things and you're craving some alone time to connect with yourself to to listen what you need right now where your life is calling you you know what kind of changes to create in your life so it's always about finding that beautiful balance of having time for ourselves and having time for others and doing something for ourselves and doing something for others and if we are out of balance we will never be able to to fully understand or to fully know what we want to do with our lives so i think and what i've learned in my life is that at the first place we need to learn how to connect back with ourselves we need to learn how to nurture ourselves the way we nurture our best friends our uh, loving people we love and so on so once we start nurturing ourselves the way we we want to be nurtured we may recognize that there were some deep desires we had within ourselves for a long time but we are never listening to that and we all know that if we stop listening our hearts our hearts will stop talking to us speaking to us expressing its needs and that's where people say i've lost myself i don't feel any connection with myself and the best way to build uh, the connection back with yourself is to connect with you to ask yourself what i really need right now what i really want right now and be in that quietness take some time to be alone go outside into the nature do something for yourself like go for a walk go for a run meditate talk with yourself journal you know write down your thoughts and uh, and just be there for yourself because this is a beautiful connection you know as same as you pay some attention to somebody who needs your help uh, that person will feel safe with you that person will feel connected with you same you need to pay attention to yourself to recognize what you truly need right now and if that is a thing you are already doing cuz i see so many people are already walking that path if you're already familiar with that then there's the next stage i would call that next stage of initiation of discovery cuz something you've discovered something there's something that came to you and maybe you've discovered well i want to start that youtube channel i want to to open that company i want to build that website i want to start um doing wh- whatever it is 
And before we initiate something, we often experience our deepest fears, our deepest limited beliefs, which are telling us just the, the opposite story, why we shouldn't do it, why it's not possible, why we are too old to do that, why we are not um, well educated to do that or not well talented enough to do that. And those are limited beliefs. We can learn everything. We are, you know, we are creatures of habits and habits are repeated um, actions. So once we start re repeating certain actions towards something we want to learn, we will develop habits which will help us to become who we want to be. And if we need to learn something, we can learn something. And if we are passionate about what we are learning, we will learn much faster because there will be more joyful emotions evolved in learning. That's why we can learn things really fast when we are passionate about something. And it, I can tell you it helped me to learn to paint really fast because I was passionate about it. If I've started painting in 2018 and I few months later i've started from nothing and few months later i had my first exhibition and you know it my passions for doing that helped me to learn things really really fast but we need to overcome our limited beliefs that's why it's so important to look up for for people which are already doing what you want to do or people which are doing similar things that will help you to to overcome certain limited beliefs because our beliefs are coming from our environment and if your environment is not on the level where you want to be you will always feel limited if people around you are not on the level where you want to be they will always pull you down they will always remind you why you can't do that so it's important to find people even you don't need to find them physically you can find books, you can find podcasts, you can find interviews, stories. You can find so many information from people which are on the level where you want to be. And whatever it is, maybe something physical, you want to build something. Maybe it's a spiritual evolution or emotional healing or a mental upgrade of your um perception or your belief system whatever it is whatever you want to build in your life or create in your life which can help you to to get to where you want to be whatever it is you need to pay attention to it and you need to you know educate your mind you need to fill your mind with that with this new information because it all starts with knowledge they say knowledge is power but knowledge is power only when we use what we know right so once we learn something we need to try it and that's where we start walking that path of lessons right uh, we can only gain wisdom from life if we are applying lessons we are learning uh, that's why it's so important to take action and before i take any action i always visualize things because i want to see an outcome not to attach myself to the outcome but to see and to to feel how it feels like and to prepare my mind to you know to be prepared so i will not be too excited so i will not be too emotional when something happens i will be prepared i will be grounded i will be grateful that's why i love to visualize so once I know what I want and once I know what I need to learn and once I've star I start learning things, then I take action towards it. I write a plan. I, I write down the goals, what I want to do this week, this month, this year, maybe. And I start doing those things. And you know, when we start doing something new, we change our energy. And when we change our energy, we also start projecting new energy out, which means that we'll start experiencing new things, new synchronicities will find us, new people will find us, new events will find us, new truly interesting things will find us. And that's where we truly need to be open-minded to see science in the events and things and synchronicities that are finding us. Because in the science, we may find guidance. And that's why awareness is so important, to be aware. And that's why we meditate. Meditation helps us to expand our awareness, to, to shut off the, the noises in our minds and to pay attention to, to the deeper stuff, you know, what life is offering to us. Because what I've learned through meditation, once that analytical part of us 
you know, the part of the brain which is always analyzing lives, once it calms down, we start sensing a deeper meaning in things, in moments, in experiences. And when we learn to, to calm our minds that way, we learn to see deeper meaning. And more often we're doing that, more we train ourselves to, de to, to see a deeper meaning in each moment of our lives. And once we, we become better at it, we start looking on life through a truly meaningful lens. And suddenly everything becomes meaningful and when everything becomes meaningful, we start learning really fast, which means that we start growing and expanding and evolving really, really fast. And faster we evolve, faster we manifest because our energy is stronger and we are more grounded. So through that evolution, our energy becomes much, much stronger and change starts happening much faster. So you see, firstly, we need to be really grounded, really strong, energetically speaking. And in order to build your energy, you also need to build your body. You need to prepare your body physically, like, for example, working out, doing yoga, um, doing something which can help your body to, to stay healthy, diet, uh, drinking more water, especially alkanized water and, and so on. So, uh, your body can be that strong vehicle for the energy you're carrying around. And it kind of happens naturally when we start walking that path of the soul, as I often say to you. So at the beginning, I mentioned, firstly, you need to learn to connect with yourself. That's the first thing. That's a must. Once you connect with yourself, you will experience something. You will experience something, certain needs, certain um, desires, which may come from your heart. And once you discover it, you will also discover limited beliefs, which are telling to you why you can't do that, why it's not possible. And in order to overcome those limited beliefs, you need to learn something which can, you know, new information, which can reassure you that those are all just lies. Those are uh, limitations, illusions, don't fall for that. You can overcome anything, but you need to have a great reason. So you need to know why you are doing that, why it is so important. And once you do all of that, you will start taking greater action. And from greater action, you will build new greater habits. And if you will stay consistent with that, you will slowly eventually let go of who you were before and you will become a new person. And if you're truly doing something from your heart, you will not just become a new person, you will become a greater embodiment of your soul, of your, of your core energy, core vibration. And more you're consistent with that work, more pure you will become. And it will not ju be just something that people will see. People will feel something different about you. People will will feel like, like you're you're truly changing for, for a better. Like, not just in some positive way, but your energy is so so nice to be with you. And you will start attracting results so much faster that you will be thinking about something and, and it will just appear in your life. It's truly a beautiful journey, but it's not an easy journey because especially at the beginning when it comes to learning new things and dealing with um, people which adopting at us, um, it's not easy always. And sometimes we feel alone because, you know, we are going from an old lifestyle to a new lifestyle. So. It's always a path of searching and finding and searching and finding between the distance from searching and finding uh, becomes really, really short and things starts moving uh, faster and with greater flow and easiness. So it's all about that, my friends. And once you, you get to the point where you will just know that this is it, this is for you, this is where your soul is guiding you, you will just know that you're doing the right thing. So my friends, I hope this video can help you to, to find more about what you truly love to do. And of course, today I'm sharing with you painting trust, which is reminding us to trust ourselves. Because when it comes to, to that internal work, it's all about trust. We need to trust ourselves. We need to actually build that trust because trust is not something we are born with. We have a certain amount of it, but 
but we need to build it right we need to to develop it as a muscle i trust myself when i do new things i trust that i'm capable of doing that i'm able to do that i'm able to get there i will get there i will manifest it i'm working on it and what i'm working on will create results because i know that it will so we need to develop trust and my friends i'm sending you lots of love blessings and power i want to remind you we are still running a giveaway on my instagram page i draw my passion where you can win a free print of the painting transcendence go there and check it out and you can also check out my other instagram page attract passion where i'm sharing with you daily inspiration daily messages which can help you to uplift your spirit and do something with your life uh, whatever inspires you and thanks to all of you for supporting my art in my Etsy shop you're all truly appreciated I love you all my friends till next time one love <laughs>